Alright guys, I was um browsing around, you know, trying to think of Minecraft like I usually do. And you guys may have noticed, but I have a texture pack on my Minecraft known as Mixcraft HD. And it for me, I could get it installed, but I know for a fact that most Mac users have no idea how to install um custom a custom texture pack in HD or uh have trouble installing it for me using mixcraft um the uh what's it called the patcher that comes with it mix the uh MC patcher no offense to the maker but it's shit um oh damn it it it's a piece of crap I hate it. It never works for me. Whenever I try and click patch, I'll do everything right, and I'll click patch, and it'll get to 2% and then go into not responding mode. So I was searching around, and I found this, Minecrafter. Now, it's originally for installing uh, mods like 303's arrow mod and stuff, ambient occlusion, whatever, and you... I'll put a download link in the description, but you create, go to new, then it'll open up this screen, I'll just edit this one, and you will have uh, these two bars, this is a search bar for whatever is right here, this is the actual name of the texture pack, here are, yeah it says right there mod name, here are the things inside of the mod, so there, here's the original Minecraft, and all the things in red are the ones that are overwritten. So you know the entire class basically. And I won't get into the finer details, but if anybody wants a more advanced tutorial, I'll make one. But basically, I have Mixcraft, and all I did was upload it. So as you can see here, you know, here it is. It's a uh, Really all I look for in a texture pack is the water and lava because that's really my favorite part about it. But I decided to, you know, mix it up and it'll let you overwrite things because from Mixcraft I don't like the furnace, this, but I do like the furnace from uh, John Smith's texture pack. So it's really quite simple, you just, you know, click add, file or folder if you have the Mixcraft folder desktop and scroll down to uh, I feel like I mixed yep there it is Mixcraft and open there it is Shit. and I'll remove this one yeah. and you know you can remove things with the minus and then more importantly you can move these their priority so if I move this down it means that this terrain.png will overwrite this terrain.png, which I really don't want. Oh, nope, nope, nope. So it also has a ranking system. So, you know, you do save, and then you can do quick mod launch where you can select the file itself, or you can do launch Minecraft. I don't do temporary because that it only works for that time you open Minecraft. I do semi-permanent. But before I do that, you want to do enable HD fix and then check everything off. And don't don't touch any of this up here or down there. Just all of this. Now launch temporary. Oh, that looked like an update. No, that can't be good. God damn it. Oh, hmm, that worked. Maybe that was an update. Uh, 
No, not an update. Cool. Alright, well, I guess I'll uh, open up a world. And more importantly, I'll show you guys the water and lava. I don't know if I, if I have any lava, actually. I'm not gonna see what the hell I'm doing. That's uh, so you can see right here, lightstone, definitely not the huge HD. Yep. Continue. Yeah, this is where I have the uh, water. Yeah. All right. So water looks really sweet, and uh, lava. Personally, this is not my favorite lava. My friend has a better one for lava. And, um, the portal doesn't get a uh, custom texture. I've been trying to get one so that this turns red instead of purple, because, you know, it would just be cooler. But, you know, it doesn't really work. So, before I completely lag out, um, yeah, I hope this helped you people. And, uh, Minecrafter, definitely use it. I use it for any mods I want to install. Like, I have a bajillion mods. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that.